Gamma Fox, my hero, I finally got a hold of you. You must save me. Sorry, your message could not be seen. <laughs> oh, I have to try that in real life one day. Oh my god, could not be seen. Does this even way he actually fell for it? But I want to ask you something. Everyone in Wildfire knows the location of Sparog's lair. <laughs> Look a hook. Why do we need you as a guide? <laughs> Name me someone above or below ground that walks the dock like Sampo Kaski. Like Sampo Kaski. Sampo's like Ito with ulterior motives, and that's terrifying. Yeah, that's actually a good way to put it. They don't just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Boss Farag's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, you need certification. His voice added in such a good job. Life, death, and honor, the struggle persists. Finding his parents a solitary wish. Crackle and flame, flicker and light. And now he escapes in the dead of the night. Sickness and hunger forever pursuing him. Gritting his teeth leaves a city behind. Raping of claws, gnashing of teeth. Evil intent, here's the sound of his feet. Don't make a sound on your breath till it's over. Heart pounding, don't let the panic take over. Howl of the wind, silvery light. Hold on to sanity, keep up the fight now that blizzard descends. I start to close the voices of family, loss of the snow. Oh, and shit. Now the night, the hate, the lies just can't hide, yeah. Her gaze cold as ice while the world passes by. Yeah. It's actually fire, what? Another bell and bog night, a fire the lights can't abide, yeah. On his face, one last smile, a sign the sun always rises. Yeah, yeah. Damn! Oh no, you, you done. No! No, can't. Should we listen to that again, chat? Evil intent, here's the sound of his feet. Don't make a sound on your breath till it's over. Heart pounding, don't let the panic take over. Howl of the wind, silvery light. Hold on to sanity, keep up the fight now that blizzard descends. I start to close the voices of family, loss of the snow. Another bell of bug night, the hate, the lies just can't hide, yeah. Her gaze cold as ice while the world passes by, yeah. It's actually really good. <laughs> Visitors for his barog detected. Oh. Protocol initiating. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a good boy? Here's our certification. We just want to see your master. <laughs> oh, good plan. Treat the robots like guard dogs. <laughs> I love March's reaction to that. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Miss Clara. Oh. Clara? Just as we feared. Oh. There's something big over there. And, and there's Clara. Oh. We have to save her. She's so small. Are you hurt? Th thanks, everyone. I'm fine. Just a few scratches. Aww. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarog about it. Speaking of Svarog, yeah, we were just about to pay him a visit. Uh-huh. What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. No. This time, we need to set things straight with him face to face. Can you take us to meet him? I know you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Svarog doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. Mm, but then why did he take you in? I know Mr. Svarov. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Hmm, then was it really a logical judgment to take her in? I'll definitely return the favor, but not like this. Mm -hmm. Um, if you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll go back now. Aww. Clara! In the pitter patter of her bare feet. <laughs> it's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. Mm. You will have to think of another way. If we can make Svarag believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the result of his calculation. And we'll be one step closer to peace talks. Big brain, Dunhing. Circumstances have changed since then. There's a silver main guard down here now. Is that part of Svarog's calculation? Not to mention we're... Hmm, not even from this planet. Completely separate variables. Three people more than we started. That's your big reveal. <laughs> uh, the important part is we're from a different planet. <laughs> I want it to be funny, shush. Don't treat me like a child. Huh? Those are just made up stories that grown-ups like to tell. No. I don't... It's true. They're not made up. In other words, people have already conquered the heavens. But you are. <laughs> oh. oh, I really want to pick that, guys. It's funny, but I'd feel bad. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> she and March aren't lying there. Okay. 
I believe them. Branya, do you really? I know how you feel, Clara. You want new hope for the underground, but you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process, right? Why so mean, Gamma? Hey, man, I wanted to know. I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that March, Dan, Hung, and she, they are the new hope this world has been waiting for. My name ain't she. Let them meet Svarag. And let's see if his calculation result is any different for you, for him. There's no harm in trying, right? Mm. Okay, I'll take you to see Mr. Svarov. Really? Awesome! Yay! Mm. I understand now. Trying to change Mr. Svarov's mind on my own would take forever. Mm. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think I could do it. <laughs> And all the while, people would be getting sick, losing their homes, and fighting, just like in the mine. Oh, she's such a good girl. I don't want that to happen. If you guys really believe that you can convince Mr. Sparog, then I need to be brave too. Everyone, follow me. Yay. Branya, I didn't know you'd stick up for us like that back there. Well said. It was nothing. I just said what I truly felt. No. Oh, yeah, this is a mega boss battle. He's literally in the big arena. He's waiting for us. I'm back, Mr. Sparrow. Ooh. I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. But why have you brought them? Mr. Sparrow, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Background unknown. Classification unknown. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. Oh, uh, hey, sounds like he's willing to communicate. Quick, time to smooth talk him. Does my, does my dialogue choice matter here? We're not interested, we are not interested in stoking conflict. We hear about the future of the underground. To be or not to be, that is... Oh. I... I really want to pick that one, <laughs> guys. But it'll be funny, Kindy. Okay, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be a good boy. I'll be a good boy, okay? You are not from the underground. You have no right to represent underworld humanity. Hmm. Proceed with your central point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. Hmm. Uh, he cut you off completely. This guy. Stay focused. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. Do you know what a Stellaron is? Searching database. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Prohibited. Oh. You are broaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. But why? Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. I demand that you reveal your true intention. Oh. Mm, as expected. He knows of the Stellaron, but it's a restricted topic. We've come this far. Out with it already! Just be straight with him. Everything depends on it. We must find the Stellaron, and then we want to bring this world's disasters to a close. Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with the Stellaron. Without exception, these efforts have been motivated by human greed, attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. Uh. As instructed by the architects, any attempt to engage with the Stellaron will result in grave consequences. Reassessing. Target threat index critical. Uh oh. Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. Your powers of calculation suck. Mmm. <laughs> Wait, we're not like those others. I feel like we shouldn't egg him on, though. God, I love Star MC. Yeah, I love how you got the option. You know what? Fuck it. Target hostility significantly exceeds base index. Calculation <laughs> result remains unchanged. <laughs> Peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Uh oh. Requesting extermination protocol launch. Uh oh. E extermination? In the literal sense? We gotta fight him. Mr. Sparrow, please don't. 
Leave Clara. Uh oh. Clara, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. Worth it. <laughs> Looks like we have to take action after all. Prototype number three. Monitoring Automaton Svara. Extermination protocol launch. Successful. Annihilation permitted. Uh oh. Man, he looks cool. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Jesus. Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of All the right, stars. let's do it, guys. Give these trailblazers your blessing. I notice it's normal speed. Can I speed Executing up? Ooh. Well, we're in trouble now. I can. Okay, I don't want to though. Not unless. Analysis complete. Whoa. Jesus. Oh, what? Huh? <laughs> How can you put up your best fight without a doctor on the battlefield? Ooh, yo! All of you, stay focused. I'm right behind you. Oh, is she gonna heal me? Did you go to get her? Nat! Uh, how did you... Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, Sampo's got your back. <laughs> Sampo! <laughs> I knew you'd be involved somehow. Base breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Assessing. All subjects are high-risk individuals. Commencing complete annihilation. Uh-oh. Well, that ain't good. Evaluating variables. Oh, what? Want to see what I can do? Oh shit! Oh, but it's weak to my freaking Electra character. Shit! Wait, what? What? You're not going anywhere. I don't remember inviting you. Is that a bug? He's nearly dead anyway, so. <laughs> nice. Family. Family. Oh. Uh oh. 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 Clara. You. Damn, she's about to blossom. Mr. Sparrow can't fight anymore. Please. Please don't hurt him. Claire. Bruh. Oh. Mr. Sparrow. Don't push yourself any further. Can you tell them what you know? Mr. Sparog, you said you were willing to make all my wishes come true, right? My biggest wish right now is for everyone to work together. Like... Like family. Recently, I learned something new. Calculation results can't always bring people happiness. Even if the world outside the cage isn't beautiful, people still want to know what it's like. Hmm. Assessment system reset. Successful. Processing variables. Variable 1. Clara's request. Variable 2. Outsider's intentions. Updated assessment result. Transference of decision-making authority. To outsiders. Outsiders are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. So. So we did it? The cost was too great. Thanks, thanks to Clara. Our strength has been recognized. Although, if Clara hadn't been here, Svarog would never have granted us access to the intel, right? Even up until the end. Hmm. I hope his memory bank really does contain data on the Stellaron. Okay, Mr. Starog, what are you going to say, my guy? Requesting database materials cache. Serial number 13175. Ooh. Encryption level highest. Request approved. Transmission. This is the fruit of many years of research, Madam Guardian. The evidence is irrefutable. This so called Stellaron is the source of all the destruction. The people will struggle to accept this conclusion, Doctor. If we oh, were to God, tell them that the almighty Elisa Rand activated this thing and triggered the eternal freeze... It's the truth, madam. 
the truth won't change with the opinions of the people. The reports before you are the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bellabog's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. I have never doubted you, Doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute in the face of this conclusion. From the moment I took up this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. I shouldn't be telling you this. Let's return to your research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public. Unless... Unless? Unless what? Please, proceed, madam. Unless you have found a way to completely destroy the Stellaron. I understand. In the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. Cache number 13175. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Oh, there's more. Cache number 24830. <clears throat> I don't understand, Doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. That's him when he's older. You're, you're still young, child. There will come a day. A day when you do understand. This supreme guardian. She, she sees further than you or I. Oh. Decisions uh, are for the security of Bellabog. Is that a young Kakolia? I just think it's a shame. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. She got blonde here. <laughs> don't, don't be upset, child. You, you still have lots of time ahead of you. Uh, when you find a way to destroy. <laughs> Destroy the Stellaron. Our efforts will have been worth it. Cache number 24830. Yeah, transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 57614. This is. Why is there a robot here? Oh. During his life, this was Dr. Mearsheimer's personal robot bodyguard. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. Oh, I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. All of them. Madam Guardian, I've found them. All the documents are here. Hmm. Good. That'll do. Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? Uh, it would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find someone to reset its system, and then arrange for it to be sent to the Underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Yes, Madam. I'm sorry, Doctor. But these results must be taken care of by the Architects. One day, somebody will be able to carry out your behest. Cache number 57614. Yeah. Transmission complete. Conclude. So, the truth is clear now, right? <gasps> hmm. They were looking for a way to destroy the Stellaron. And it would appear that they never succeeded. Hmm. Now only one question remains. Why would Kokolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Branya? Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I just feel a little faint. This must be a lot, of, uh, a lot to take in for you. Yeah, you can believe us now. Why? Mm. Why, mother? Maybe, maybe she wasn't aware. Maybe she. I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. I know that we'll need time to process this new information. But we have to decide on our next plan as soon as possible. You've spent long enough living in lies, Branya. This is your chance to break out of the cage. <sighs> Did your memory module get damaged? Maybe I can fix that too. Retrieving memory module. Architect machine era records. Intact. War of defense combat data. Intact. 
Geomero Development Group era records intact. Record of Clara's crafting of miniature magnetic drill rigs <laughs> intact. Aww. Record of Clara's explanation of human sleeping in behavior Aww. intact. So your memory module is okay. I have made a backup of all records pertaining to you, Clara. Do not worry. Aww. Even the one about sleeping in? <laughs> there are multiple backups. I can recover them at any time. Mr. Svarog, can I delete some of them? <laughs> Aww. I cannot grant this request. Records pertaining to you constitute important data, Clara. They must remain intact. They are... Memories of family. I understand. <laughs> Mr. Svarog, I still want to help you check a few other modules. Turn around a little. Oh, that's freaking precious chat. <laughs>